Hello everyone, welcome to Spring 2021. I wanted to take a minute and thank everyone for all of their work in 2020. You've made Cape Fox a very successful organization and everyone from the commercial organization through the federal business pulled together dur during a difficult and unprecedented 2020 season. It has been a very challenging year, but I love the way that the Cape Fox team has come together as a family. We had to just come together as a team and each and every one of our employees all over the country came together to make this work. As a corporation, I think that we've done uh, very well uh, in adjusting to um, you know, the, the items that have come with that um, from you know, teleworking and supporting our federal contract contracts uh, across a variety of different agencies. We had actually started on the IT side, investing in infrastructure uh, before the pandemic, moving things to the cloud, uh, improving the infrastructure to allow flexibility in telecommuting and things like that. Uh, we were successful because we did uh, two primary things. We, uh, we focused on our employees and safeguarding their health and well-being. So we, I think we initially, right away, as soon as the pandemic hit, we moved to telework. So our, many of our employees were able to either work from home or if they worked in a hospital setting, they were able to shift their schedules to help prevent the spread of the disease. As a contractor, primarily supporting the federal government, uh, we have very few glitches when we started the uh, COVID operation. Uh, most of our people were able to transition working from home and those people that we had on contract who could not work from home because of the classification of their site or because of the work that they were doing. We worked closely with our government contract uh, folks and we figured it out. One of the things this pandemic has done is shown how people can come together, how people can support other people. Uh, that's really what's important at the end of the day. Um, but it's really, can you be there for you know, your fellow human being when they need someone? So as things uh, progressed, um, we noticed the need in Saxman to help the community. And we've done now um, three or four grocery drops that included uh, your essentials, you know, toilet paper, food, uh, laundry soap, things like that, that we've done throughout the community to um, help out the residents that um, are also suffering through this pandemic. You know, I think just overall, you know, uh, you know, our staff, our personnel um, have really come together and, and, and shown that they can, um, you know, that they can act as one unit, one operational unit across the corporation. And um, we've adjusted very well and our customers have adjusted very well. And I think with that team, uh, that, that team co co cooperation, um, you know, that, that goes a long way in showing that we have the ability to support just about anything. I would say that we lean into our proprietary know-how. Primarily what we do is we are an occupational health um, staffing company. So we provide frontline workers, we provide nurses, physicians, and other ancillary providers. So uh, we were able to provide vaccine support for our customers. Um, one customer in particular, NIH, we provided not only the flu vaccine for Dr. Fauci, Personally, one of our registered nurses provided it for him, but she also gave Dr. Fauci his um, COVID-19 vaccine. And she's also the same individual that was invited to, to the White House and gave the 50th million uh, COVID vaccine shot in America. So uh, Dr. Um, President um, Biden was there, Vice President Kamala Harris was there, and of course, Dr. Fauci was there. So um, we still wanted to do things for our employees. We realized that everybody was working hard, so we tried to figure out what we could do for fun. We're not seeing each other, we're not, you know, the only way we are able to communicate is by phone and by computer. Uh, the company as a whole has done a lot of these virtual uh, events, things like Valentine's Day, Halloween, uh, so we've had a lot of positive feedback about that. Um, I personally ran uh, three virtual happy hours for our teams. So uh, on three of our separate contracts where we had uh, various games like Name That Tune, Guess Who This Is, where employees would submit their baby photos and we would guess who um, each person is. We also um, I had a nutrition health and wellness workshop for one of our contracts and then a contract for uh, where we provide accounting services where a lot of the employees are sitting most of the time, we set up a physical therapist 
that will go in there and will teach them various stretching options and would uh, reinforce that they should get up um, every 15 minutes and move around. You know, we just talk to everybody, make sure that their families were okay. Um, all the managers would let someone in HR know that if, if they had someone on their team that had COVID, we were reaching out to every individual to see how they were doing, as well as their family members and stuff like that. And then we had Michelle Lewis, who um, on the other side of the business in, in Alaska, she was uh, coordinating, giving out um, Thanksgiving meals and things of that nature. So we just always try to keep, we tried to keep it going. And we've been successful in that. And I don't think the world or Kate Fox will ever be the same again because it taught us one thing, that we are a resilient workforce. We can get through the obstacles that the world throws at us. The team has, has really come together um, and worked as a team. We support one another. We support our community. Everybody stepped up when it when it needed to happen, you know, because they our our industry was crushed for a while there. There was no hope, and and our team managed just to pull through and stay together. And and everybody has their strengths and weak, strengths and weaknesses, but you know, we we play off each other's so we can be an effective team and lead our community and lead our just our Cape Fox family we have here. So we were able to end 2020 with significant growth in revenue, over 50 percent as well as a nice profitable year as well. So while many companies struggled during the last year, because of all of your efforts, Cape Fox Corporation came together and was very successful. We look to continue that success in 2021. The sun is shining, the trees are blooming. Thank you to the Cape Fox team. And I look forward to the day when we can all see each other in person again.